Hey guys, it's Hero. Wanted to do some testing with sim battles versus live battles. The auto resolve versus live. Uh, some people in the Discord had some questions and I've had this on my list to do for a while. So I figured I'd pull the trigger and do it now. So what I did was I created two custom units. The first one is in a, an elite unit. So I have all the skills from the cons guard. So the riding, the pole arm, and the bow of 260. I made a custom bow, which you can see is completely overpowered. It's a one shot kill for sure. If it hits one of the enemies, it will kill it. I gave him a large stack of arrows, 1000 in the stack, if you see that. Uh, they have the glaive from, I basically took the, the template of the cons guard. And, and did this and just modified a couple things. Gave them a custom bow, custom arrows, custom head. I made this something similar to this in another video, but the head armor, I improved it a bit, added some zeros on the end of it. So it's 5,000 on that. And I gave them a custom body with a bunch of good defense as well. 5,000, 2,500, 2,500. It's basically so they can't die. I'm trying to prove a point here. The good gear works in live battles but is completely worthless in simulated battles so uh we have good gear we have good skills but we're only tier one if you see this i changed it so that they're only tier one units and we're going to do this to prove a point so we have good units we have what is it 73 versus 73 so if we oh, just do so a battle right here right now and we attack these guys so we set up a Basic formation here. Something simple, spread them out, get ready. I'm just gonna move out of the way and let these guys mow them down. You can see the feed on the right. And a horse flying up in the air there. Interesting. So they should mow these guys down pretty fast. You can see the bar at the top. You can see the the power level between my tier one units and the enemy, which has a variety of tier, I think they go up to tier four. We'll take a look at that in just a second. So it's, it's pretty much over. I'm just gonna bail out of here. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, let's reload this. So looking at the troops for this guy, veterans, recruits, and experts, are those guys all mounted? Let's, uh, let's take a look in the encyclopedia. Do that. No, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to look at the troops. There we go. Grab one of these. So yeah, they're all mounted. So they're also tier two. The recruits are tier two, experts are tier three, and the veterans are tier four. So let's look at these guys again. So that's 40 units, 45 units that are a higher tier than mine, for sure. The nomad is higher, noble sons are higher tier. Do they have any? Okay, two Sturgeon recruits. So they have two tier one units. Everything else is tier two or higher. Okay, so 73 versus 73, we wipe them out pretty good. Let's cut our stack in half here. Go to 36, so they have a two to one advantage. Oi, sorry. And we'll jump in. Clear war. Let's see what the power level looks like now. Move these banners. There we go. Yeah, so they're clearly going to win this fight. Clearly. All right. Cut a little bit. Hit this. Just draw a little line. Hit ready. And then move out of their way. So you look at the stream on the of green on the right. See, this isn't going to take much longer either. This is a 
two to one. They have a two to one advantage over us. They also have mounted units. Should give them some type of, of an advantage. And it's just about over. Um, I think one of my guys got hit. Maybe. Oh, they had they were shooting arrows, so yeah, they got hit. But they'd have to get like hit like a hundred times. However many I think they only lose one hit point per hit. So let's get out of here and reload the save again. Okay, so last time we did 36, so let's drop this down to 18. Right here, 18. So now they have a four to one advantage. Oi, sorry. I Against my tier one units. Let's look at the power up here at the top. You can see they have, that they're clearly gonna win this fight. Oh, I can't even set up my units. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to see that first menu. I need to have at least 20 units. So we only have 18. Looks like the horses are finally going to reach the line. Maybe. Yep, there we go. All right. All done. Don't attack me, guys. We haven't lost any units yet. Four to one advantage they have over us. My measly tier one units. So this is no surprise, I'm sure. Anyone watching this, you're not surprised. If you give some units overpowered weapons, they're gonna win, right? This, I mean, I'm just proving the point here. But that's, it's, it should be no surprise to anyone. It'll take a few more moments here, but I think we'll just skip it. Okay, so let's load the save again. So now it's 73 versus 73. And we're not gonna do a live battle. I'm gonna take all of my tier one units against his, at only he only has what, two tier one units? Everything else is two tier two and higher. He has the mounted bonus because he has 47 cavalry and 12 horse archers. So he has that bonus oh, sorry. going into an auto resolve. I don't have that. Whoops. St stop. Why is it clicking the wrong one? Thank you. So I'm going to do uh, send troops. We'll fast forward. And I lose. So we killed 44 of their troops. 44 of their 72. Is that the way this is, works? We'll uh, leave this and reload. Sorry. So it's 73 versus 73. We'll run it again. I'll do send troops, fast forward, and we lose again. Of course we do. We have 73 tier 1 units against 73, well, yeah, practically... 73 tier 2 and higher units. So it's no surprise in an auto resolve that we lose every time. Now I can run this a bunch of times. If I were to reduce the number of troops we have, it's going to guarantee their victory even more. This is one of the points I wanted to make is that the, the gear that you have is only useful in a live battle. So this awesome defense, awesome attack is only good in a live battle, not a simulated battle. The tier plays a huge role in the simulated battle, the tier of the unit. Uh, you're, um, you also have a skill, a tactic skill that plays a role. And there are other bonuses. In some one of the recent updates, they mentioned the bonuses like uh, having 
mounted units get a bonus, archers get a bonus, uh, depending on the terrain you're on. Uh, if you're in snow or mud, uh, horses get a penalty instead of a bonus. Um, if you're in the woods, I believe archers get a penalty. Horses get a penalty as well. So horses were in the middle of in a wide open field here. So the horses have a, a bonus. And I found these guys on purpose because most of them are mounted. So they get a bonus. So the next thing we should look at is the opposite of these units. So these units have our tier one, but with elite gear. Let's look at these units who are the opposite of that. And we'll just uh, stack some up here. Instead of typing out a command, I'm just doing this. Two more, why not? Okay. Whoops, we're all we're right here. Now, so let's look at these guys. So I give them uh, a hunting bow, the basic bow that you start off with. Imperial arrows, I don't think you can get these in the game normally, but these are nothing. There's no extra bonus damage. See zero pierce there, stack of 30. Once they run out, they're, they're done. I swapped out their two-handed pole arm for a hoe, which granted, it's still a, a weapon, but it's less useful. And the only body armor they have are tattered rags. They are max tier. They are tier six. In some update, a few updates back, they capped this at six. You have to make a coded mod in order to remove that cap. There are a bunch of them on Nexus if you're interested in doing that. It used to be seven, but they changed it to six. I don't know, maybe three or four versions ago they capped this. Um, but again, there's there's mods on uh, Nexus if you want to change this. Somebody made one that just allows you to go infinite tier. I also reduced their skill. So they have, I just took a zero off the end of the bow, the pole arm, and the riding. So they have low skill, terrible weapons, and barely any armor. But they are tier six units. So we have this. Let's make a save, actually. So we can start right off with this. So we have 73 versus 73. Oh, sorry. Let's do a live battle, and you can imagine how this is going to play out. So we have terrible units. Oh we'll pretend like I'm, I'm going to win, though. We'll just do the same line as we did before. Formation! Now, if you look at the, the power balance at the top, you can see we have a huge advantage because we have all tier six units. All every Everything in our, our army, our force is tier six. They're not. I don't think they have any tier six units at all. I think at most it's a tier four. The game thinks that we have a huge advantage. The downside is we have terrible units. They're just not equipped for battle. They really aren't. So these guys on horses charging in are going to start wiping out a lot of my men. We're getting a lot of grain. We're getting a lot of hits. So 73 versus 73. This could take a while. I should have set up RTS mod so I could have sped this up, but I did not install it. Not sure how much longer this is going to take, but this is not the slaughter that it was before. And of course it's not. You know, they have terrible weapons, terrible armor, terrible skill. But we are holding our own, apparently. Our tattered rags... Horse archers with no horses. We might actually win this one. I'm trying to prove a point, and I guess I couldn't prove that point. 
thought these guys were going to die faster than this. They did in other testing. They died a lot faster than this. That is crazy. Well, um, if given enough time, I think we might win. What are we looking at here? Killed 67 of their 73. We have 34 units left. We might actually win this one. So, let's just reload the, the save. So it was not a blowout. 73 versus 73. But if we dropped it down to 36... Oi! Sorry! And went in. Let's see what this does. So if you look at the power balance now, it's almost even. I think it's slightly in our advantage. But this stampede coming through, wow. It only killed three men. That's crazy. Yeah, they're so they're doing better this time, much better. It's a two to they also have a two to one advantage, they're on horse. You would expect them to win this battle, for sure. And if the A if the AI was better and didn't group up like this so much, I think it would be more of a slaughter. Yeah, they're, so they're going to win this one. Uh, no point in playing it out. They're going to win. So that was the live battle with uh, 36 unit. So let's let's leave the 73 versus 73, and let's try a simulated Sorry. battle. Now remember, we're we're pretty terrible here. The power balance is in our favor, as you can see here. So if we send the troops, it should be a blowout. Yeah. See, we still have 61 troops left. And we wipe them out. Let's reload the save. Okay, so that was 73 versus 73. So let's cut this in half. Now, we, we won pretty easily... But again, we have terrible weapons. We didn't win that that bad or that good in a live battle. It was it took a long time, of course. Simulated battles don't take that long. But it it took a while and it was a little sketchy. A little we didn't know if we were gonna win. Now they have a two to one troop advantage. Oh, wait. Sorry. They're on horse, they're on the plane, so the horses come into play. Um, let's look at the power balance now. It's almost even. You can see it's almost even. We have a slight advantage with only 36 tier 6 units. So if we do send the troops, fast forward. So we won this one. I think if we play this one a few times, they might win it. Let's do this. Let's do the 36. Total units. Oh, and then we'll get sorry. right up in their face to this point, and then we'll make a save right here. So now if we send troops, fast forward, we win. We still have 18 units left. If we do this a few more times. And we'll send troops again. Fast forward, 18 troops. Remember when we when we did the 36 versus 73, they they beat us or were going to beat us. I think I cut it short because it was just taking too long. But they were on the road to beating us because these troops are terrible in a live battle. But just because they are tier six units, we get an advantage in the auto result. So the tier alone is a huge advantage. There are other. Again, there are other bonuses. There's perks 
There's a bunch of stuff in the tactics skill tree to give you bonuses for for her uh, simulated battles. There are, I'm not sure if these things are written anywhere other than maybe on the forum, but things like horses on flat ground on a dry day, they have an advantage. I'm not sure what that advantage is exactly. It used to be like a 20% advantage of that unit beating another unit. So this is what I wanted to show is that the armor is basically useless in auto resolve. What does this actually mean? Well, it means don't worry about the quality of the gear that you have on, say, companions when you send them out on a caravan, because the quality doesn't play a role. With companions, whatever weapon you put in that first slot, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Whatever weapon you put in this first slot here will determine what type of unit they are. So if you put in, in my case, if because I have a crossbow, they're a ranged weapon, I'm considered a horse archer. By default, the game will see me as a horse archer and put me in the horse archer range and give me, if I were, were to actually participate in simulated battles, which the player never does, if I were, if this were a companion, say, and I gave them a crossbow, they would be a, a mounted archer and they would get any bonuses, say for uh, the archer bonus and the mounted bonus. You don't even have to give them arrows. You just have to give them a bow and they're a mounted archer and they get those bonuses. And in the simulated battles, the way the game does simulated battles or performs them is it randomly selects one unit from either side and pits them against each other. It gives them bonuses. If if one of the units was a mounted archer, the other one was uh, just a normal foot troop, a normal melee foot soldier, the horse would get a bonus on certain terrains, the, the arrows would get a bonus on certain terrains. So it's very likely that that mounted archer would beat that foot soldier. But the game will do that. It'll go through all of the units on either side and pit them against one another. Again, picking them at random and seeing who wins, who who lives, who dies. And then that's what you're seeing when you do the fast forward. When you do this right here, that's that's what's happening. The game is calculating, putting units against one another and seeing who wins and who dies and so forth. So I'll do a, a, another video in the future where I'll break down the actual code uh, and what factors play a role and how much of those factors are weighted in the calculation and, and so forth. But this is basically to answer that question. There was a couple people in Discord and I also got some private messages from people asking more questions about it. This was just to show you that armor has zero effect in simulated battles. So don't worry about the armor itself. Worry about the tier of the soldier. And I, I made a video a while back about the best units in the game. Kind of a joke is the best units in the game are max tier units, basically to spoil that video for you. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. If you're going to do auto resolve battles, always have max tier units. Don't don't use recruits in auto resolve. Just get max tier units. Let the game pit them against the lower tier units and win. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.